Hello and welcome back to High Ridge Farm with me, the Walrus. We're finally into the weekend of the third week in spring, as I've managed to get myself waylaid a little bit in uh, the recording side, so apologies for anyone who was expecting a little bit of an earlier update on that one. All the same, it's now time for a mass harvest of kale, as large quantities of that have grown up, which is nice. And we've also got a few other things to work on. One of the things that I would like to do in the next couple of days in game is I would like to build or upgrade the shed to make it bigger or build a second one. Potentially maybe another fish pool, pond thing. And I'm just trying to debate what other things that I could do that would be sensible. Of course, I do need to work towards the potato quest that's been given to me as I do want to uh, complete that one, as that's quite an easy... I, th I think it's reasonably easy to do. And that's something that I would like to get done. Of course, that is going to involve going and finding more uh, potatoes to put in the kegs, and of course, making sure that Pam is available to receive delivery. Although I think I just need to slap them in her fridge, which is fair enough. One of the other things that I've got to do here is I need to organize the sprinkler systems around here. My main aim next week, before the summer begins, is to really clear through them. Make sure that this area here is actually completely organized and has been essentially stripped bare. So I might even have to place the sprinklers down on tilled soil to begin with and then wait um, until the t soil itself has been reverted back to normal so that I can place down the important tiles to prevent me from accidentally digging them up every time I try and hoe the land. Of course it's just making sure that I know exactly where I'm going to place the sprinkler systems as I'm very painfully aware that I want to ensure that I've got a decent amount of land that I can actually grow crops in. Now, and I know that that does cause some issues, but that's that. Okay, so my little dinosaur's feeling happy today. That's good. Let's hoe up some of the soil there. Nothing exciting, unfortunately, but that's kind of be as a given, considering I've nearly finished completely the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The museum, which is cool. So I'm just tearing through this wall here as part of the thing. I know I mentioned it previously that I kind of think I should just get rid of it entirely. I'm even debating to getting rid of that secondary partition as it's not really doing anything other than dividing the larger animals from the smaller animals, which isn't exactly a terrible thing to remove. Okay, so we've got some wood. Now, let's see if this travelling cart has anything of excitement for us. Um, not hugely, sadly. And a rare seed could be useful. I probably should start purchasing more of those, considering how valuable they actually are when fully grown. It's the time sink of them, I think, is the issue that I have. It's not that it's impossible, but it's... I know full well I could grow more star fruit and turn it into wine in the time that it takes for one of them to grow. And the the they are I think the most individually valuable grown produce, but they only produce one and uh, stuff things, you know. But I should probably do some more of them. Partly because I do also want to do the thing where I ship out five of each thing and, you know, that sort of stuff. Seems reasonably sensible to me. Okay. So, I've got myself some more hardwood, which will be helpful for the house upgrade. Because that's going to be a big thing that I want to get done. And I would also like to have a look and see what other things I could get done or built for me. Uh, by Robin, as there are a few things that I've not really looked at yet. I uh, know I need some more wood, so I'm just going to quickly cut down a few more trees whilst I'm generally in the vicinity. And I'll grab this horseradish because it just happens to be there. 
Okay, so some more wood. Okay, looks like I've been on a little bit of a lumberjacking spree already recently, so that's fine. These trees just need to grow. Come on, slice through that fiber, which will be helpful to help me make some more either grass starters or the ever useful tree fertilizer as I will definitely need a significant amount more of that as tree fertilizer is just so handy especially when you've got large areas of trees to grow hence why my coppicing area which is my main um, section I know I may not be using that term entirely correctly I vaguely recall from doing something in oh, goodness secondary school biology about <laughs> carefully growing trees in five-year bands and stuff but eh, it's my harvesting of tree operation i'm no arboreal master but i will grow a lot of trees and cut them all down right okay so that's that let's quickly head back in through town through the sewers that's probably going to be the quickest way in rather than faffing and let's just mm, i can't remember. oh yes we want to visit crobus it's friday we want a sprinkler yes please that'd be lovely um i might as well buy the solar essence considering i do keep running out of it i i don't think it does have a lower drop or it doesn't drop off of the things that i keep encountering i think that's major the mainly the issue whereas the dark essence or whatever it's called the void essence does tend to drop more off of the enemies I am fighting. But that's just how that is. Uh, do I want to go into the bar? No, I don't. No. Right, okay, so 245 wood. So you need potatoes, you want some copper ores. Okay, well, that I can do that. That's not going to be difficult. Ooh, what's this? Catch five carp. Okay, well, I'm going that way, so easy, I guess. But I do need to get the copper ore. Now that one shouldn't be too difficult. 35 copper ore isn't exactly a, a monumental challenge, I don't think. But it's going to be this the very basic early parts of the mines, at least. Right, so let's just quickly grab that bit of wood there. We're going to slap that bit there. Righty, Robin, I would like you to... Oh, no, I haven't got 150 pieces of hardwood. Not on me, at least. Let's see... Well, silo, mill, shed. Okay, so the shed's 300 wood. I'm just going to buy a little bit because I can't be bothered. There we go. I know that's not the best idea in the grand scheme of things. Oh, a mini fridge. I did say I wanted one of those. That'll make my life a bit easier. And I'll buy that stump recipe. Okay, so construct me another shed. I know this isn't the upgrade shed, which is this one, which requires wood and stone. But if I just build this one for the time being, I can then reorganize. And that's kind of what I'm aiming for. Uh, ooh, drat. Okay, well, I'm going to have to put it in a slightly more awkward place. At least I can move them around later. There we go. Just pop that shed there for now. And I'll, re I'll move them around the farm later and ensure that they are being used effectively. Now, I don't want the slime... I don't really need the sap. I do have a lot of sap, to be fair. Right. Let's head on over. Okay, I'm going to cut this down. Just, again, I'm going to need lots more wood sooner rather than later, especially if I continue with my desired upgrades. Especially two fully upgraded big sheds is a lot of uh, resources. Because you've got to build the shed first. And then upgrade it. So, you know, it, it costs. Now, for copper, I know it's the first series of floors, but if I start from floor 10, I think it might have a greater, not chance of spawning, but just you're going to see more deposits of it. And that's kind of what I'm after, really. Murder some slimes, just because they're there. Also, I think I've killed all the duggies that I need to kill, but not sure. Oh. But I'll hit it anyway, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's organize this mess that I actually have here that I don't really need some things. Um, 
Now I need to find my way down and out of here. That's going to be the tricksy bit. Now, oh, there's one bit of copper. Okay, so we will throw the fiber away. Yeah, why not? Weirdly, I know I can get stone easier than fiber, but probably should have kept the uh, fiber over the stone thinking about it. But, you know, we live and learn. And I've never claimed to be a particularly intelligent man. Uh, I don't really need those seeds. Don't need the slime. Go away. There we go. I do also need to potentially make another... Well, some iridium rings. I can't remember if I've actually got any iridium left after all my general upgradery that I've done um, with all my tools and um, building a couple of other miscellaneous sprinklers and things. Well, that was convenient. The last thing that I hit. Okay, so the area is infested. How helpful. Time to go on a murdering spree. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Who's next? Oh, okay. That wasn't too bad. It was just a couple. No, I was expecting it to be way worse. Okay, a random... Ooh, an emerald. That's kind of cool. Um, Any more copper? Any more copper? Give me lots of copper. Yeah. Nope. I'm just cutting through that. Ah, there's the way down. And another copper. I think I've got, what, 13 out of 35. That's not too bad. Um, well, there's another one, so that's going to be a few more. Lovely. It's another three. And then another sort of six. We've got three out of each of those. That's good. Let's see. There's got to be more. I hope there's more, because uh, I'm very lazy, and I'd rather get this done quickly. And I believe that I do need to get this done um, tonight. I think tonight is the cut-off point. Wow, I'm getting loads of quartz. I kind of wonder why. It seems strange to see that much quartz in a box. Not the end of the world. It's still useful stuff. As I'm going to turn it into a mis oh, a miscellaneous selection of things, really. Because it's useful for the the plant pots. It's also really useful for general um, quartz uh, floorways and pathways. Because they're quite nice and something that I'd quite like to have more of, as I'd like that. Okay, we've still got the carped kelet. So we still need 14 copper. Okay, so let's see if we can find that before we head back to the bar. Because if we're lucky, we might be able to head back to the bar to find Clint and uh, hand them over to him whilst he's having a drink. Because, you know, that's totally how things roll. That's exactly what everyone expects. You just go, oh, look, go into the bar and I've just got a bucket of copper. Go away, don't. Generally, be gone, horrible monsters. That's kind of how this is rolling. But anyway... Um, it's going to be finding all of the copper, which is going to be a bit of a faff, because at the moment I'm still not finding it. That's annoying. Okay, so let's... Have I found my way down already? I think I did. Yes, I did. So let's go down another floor and work our way through. Oh, look, there's a little crab and some more copper. Fantastic. So that's another two, six, ten. So I think I need... Okay, well, that's everything. Let's get out of here and head back to the bar and get out. Because that would be good, just to be prepared and ready. Ah, okay. And it's Abigail in the graveyard with a rusty sword. And what's going on here, Abigail? I guess you're wondering why I'm in the graveyard this late at this hour. Well, yes, mostly because... You I'm not sure of your actual age, but you come across as like either a late teenager, so 19, or early 20s. And why would you be in a graveyard with a sword? <laughs> Very strange. I guess anybody could use a sword, whether it's any, they're any good with it. Very different question. Um, yeah, it's kind of exciting, but that's because I'm playing a video game. <laughs> it must kind of suck, though, being... 
essentially stuck in the area like this. I know there are references to locations around and about, but it doesn't seem like anyone goes there, which is a shame. And Pierre is generally grumpy. Why is a graveyard specifically no place for a young lady? Should should it be a place for a young man? I don't think so, uh, comparatively. It's just a graveyard. Oh no. I'm enjoying the fact that I get dragged off with this. I, I my bad. I, I'll I'll just um I'll leave. <laughs> and uh I'll leave Pierre to clear up the sword and lantern. And well it seem, still seems strange the idea of essentially hiding in a bush. <laughs> But, hey, Abigail does Abigail things. She's her own oddity at the same, best of times. Right, let's keep on rolling. So I'm going to cross this bridge here, head back over to the farm. Not to the farm, sorry, to the bar first. I will be heading back to the farm, unsurprisingly enough, as uh, that is where I need to end up before midnight. Well, maybe not before midnight. And there's Clint. How perfect. Hello. I have. Yep. They are indeed copper ore. Well done. That's the thing. Right. Well, we've got some money. Not much, but we've got some money. Right. Uh, really need to look through. Who am I not giving gifts to this week? Okay. Well, uh, my inventory is full. That's annoying. What am I going to do with this? Uh, let's delete those pine cones. I don't need those. Right. Beer. Beer for Pam. And beer for Shane, even though I really shouldn't. There we go. Uh, no, I can't really put a fridge down in here. That'd be a bit weird. I wonder if it would work, though. That'd be interesting if the fridge would work in this location. Very funny if it did. Oh, I've already given Emily two gifts. That's fine. Have a maple syrup. Let's just dispense maple syrup to people because, yes, it is a nice day, and uh, I, I think I will. It is a decent. I don't know about decent day for fishing. It's currently the night time, and it's very late. It might very well have been there. As I've lamented so far, though, I've not really seen ve very many rainy days, and it's really weird. I don't like it. I, I need rainy days because I need to try to catch the legend. And I now have nine days before the summer. And I would very much quite like to catch the um the legend before then, thanks. Otherwise this is going to end very badly, methinks. Right, well, let's just start, sort the distribution of stuff out in here because that's a sensible idea. What gubbins can I move around, um, if any? Well, let's just put some food items in here and just go from there. Come on, get in there. Just organising the fridge is a good thing, and I'm just glad that I've got one now because that's going to make my life a lot easier generally for having a bit more space that can be easily accessed when attempting to do the cooking recipes. Um, let's grab those green beans. Let's grab the spring onion. Might as well grab the... Uh, no, I can't grab them because my inventory is full. Fine. That's okay. Okay, so it's now getting late, so we should probably start look looking at going to bed because it is heading to midnight. There we go. It's got a peach, got a thingy. Keep it near those kegs. The kegs won't stay there forever. Maybe one of them will for the coffee production. Maybe two. But I'm not sure on that line. I don't think I'll keep that many in my kitchen. But where else would I put them? I mean, I could move them to the sheds. Probably the most sensible plan to actually have the, the shed being just a full production center essentially 
because that's kind of what I actually want to do with it. It's just turn it into just a big manufacturing hub, almost, of this is where the alcohol is made. Because that is indeed my end game plan. Okay, so I've got 22 strawberry seeds. I need to pick up some more general seeds, actually, by the looks of things. As I've got... The strawberries aren't really going to provide anything. Well, I'll just plant them anyway. I'll probably turn a couple of the strawbs into actual seeds. So anything that comes out as a basic quality crop, I will... Not saying I'm going to entirely re-harvest, but they're just going to get turned into seeds for now. Just so I can, well, if I need to or want to, I can um, plant them rolling around again when year three rolls around. But we'll see on that one. Okay, time for bed. Sleepy, sleepy. Lovely stuff. Okay, so that's the farming's given us 8,370, so that's eh, a little bit of extra cash. It's helped refund what we did for the shed, which is fine. No, don't go back to sleep. That would have been real real dumb. Thankfully, I've only ever done that once. And thankfully, not while I've been recording, because my goodness, would I feel real stupid about missing an entire day because I just went, duh. But, wouldn't be beyond the realm of possibility. Okay, so we'll water that. What's the weather report going to be tomorrow? It is going to be clear and sunny. Damn it. Why is it not chucking down with rain? Ugh. Right. If by Sunday it doesn't look like, well, well Sunday's going to be clear and sunny, but if it, it doesn't look like it's going to rain on Monday, I'm going to have to really start making rain totems. I've got no choice at this point. I need it to rain. Lovely cherries, lovely stuff. Now, I'm going to grab some miscellaneous guff, um, some malachite and some clay. So nothing super exciting, but that's kind of a given for the meh. That is the um, basic geode. Okay, some cauliflower, lovely. I don't remember if this is cauliflower I actually plant or just the mixed seeds. I'm assuming it's stuff that I've actively planted. Could be wrong there. Ah, starfruit has finished, so that's good. Looks like we might need to head to the desert soon again in case we may need to replenish our stocks of seeds on these. But we will see on that front. There we go. So a nice 25 star fruit, which is good. And let's see what have we got. Oh, we got plenty of seeds. Good, good. Let's just quickly replant those. Lovely. And that's that. Excellent stuff. And there. Done. Right. Let's just quickly grab from these ones. And we'll put the seeds back. I do need to plant more trees in here. I need to double check exactly what trees I actually have, which ones I might be missing, because I bet you I'm missing a couple. And uh, once I figure out which ones I'm missing, then I can, you know, replant the ones, well, plant the ones that I'm missing and still leave a little bit of space for the ginger island trees, as I think it's mangoes and, what is the other one? It's mangoes and something. Can't remember what though. But it's mangoes and something. Um, bananas! That's the one. Bananas. And once I've got those sorted, that'll be great. Right, I'm going to quickly head into the shed. Look at all those potatoes. Lovely. Aha! Starfruit wine has been in great production here, so that's good. I'm going to put a couple of cauliflowers in. I'm going to put these fruits in cherries and the starfruit. Um. Right, so let's reclaim the starfruit barrels and get some wine ready and on the go. That'd be nice. Let's just plonk that in there. I need another three. One, two, three. Excellent. So, wine production a go go. And considering that I had a conversation with uh, somebody the other day, all regarding meads and wines and all sorts of stuff. It's got that fascination inside my brain going, oh yeah, but we still sell like quite often um, distilling kits, uh, well, 
fermentation kits to actually make your own homegrown wines and stuff in the UK. You used to be able to go to uh, the High Street Chain Pharmacy Boots and actually purchase a kit to make beer. Because we are an odd country, I will freely admit that. But I like the idea of just going to the chemists and going, you know what I want to do today? Beer. <laughs> Glorious. All right, sell those bits there. So that's going to be of extra cash, which is nice. And I need a little bit of cold so I can smell that Omni Geode and crack it open. So let's. Oh, wow, we don't have much coal, do we? That's going to be a bit of a pickle. I think I'm going to have to really cut down some more trees and get that on the go. Right, so we've got some row, which is good. I do want to catch a sturgeon as well to get the caviar rather than just roe. Uh, well, in the pickled bits. Um, okay, let's cut down this tree. Chop. I enjoy the fact that cutting down a tree onto a large uh, brick wall doesn't damage it somehow. I'm not quite sure how the logic of that one is, but hey, I'm, I'm glad I haven't managed to smash up my farm by dropping trees on it. Which... To be fair, I'm quite likely to do, because I'm an idiot. Right, let's grab some more truffles. So we've got quite a few truffles now, which is good. So that'll be some more truffle oil, and I could probably ship out some actual just truffles as well. Probably not a terrible idea, as, um, well, thinking about it, I can't remember how many of them I've shipped out, and I do need to ship out more of them. Okay, so we've got some cheeses, which is nice. And we're going to go fling those in here. I don't really need the cheese. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, actually, I could put the wool on the spinning loom. And that'll be fine. Spinning mill, whatever it's called. The thingy to do stuff with. And we'll throw the cheeses in there. Bin. Uh, though, actually, I'll keep a hold of the goat's cheese, actually, because it's um, Lee's favourite. And you can turn that into fertiliser. Nice and simple stuff. It's kind of just part of the daily routine, really. It's just catching some fish, getting some sap, turn it to fertiliser. Yeah. And fling this mayonnaise in the box. Okay. And off we trot. So, is there anything else I can deposit in here? Well, I will store the truffles for the moment, but I'm going to put two of them in the truffle oil maker because that's very sensible, methinks. Now, where else are we heading? Right, okay, we're coming up to midday now, and I need to figure out exactly what else I need to do for the rest of the day. I've got to catch some carp which is the quest that Willy has given. But there's not a huge amount that's coming to mind of stuff that desperately needs doing today, other than that. I mean, of course, giving gifts, because I'm such a nice, lovely man. Here's a gift. Have things and stuff. Uh, oof, I always forget what Willy likes. I... I it's one of those, one would assume he'd like fish, but the trouble is, you don't want to give him something basic like a carp, because they're pretty, well, meh, as fish go. There's nothing super exciting about them. They're kind of disgusting as a grand, as a general fish, because they're bottom-feeding fish. And they just eat off of the, all the detritus off the, so off the ground in the, in the bottom of the lake. However... I don't know about what they taste like, because I don't think I've actually ever eaten carp. Which is an oddity, potentially. I've eaten bass, but never um, carp, I don't think. Neither have I eaten catfish, which is a, another one that I've heard some people rave about. And maybe that's something that I need to try. Then again, I'm not um, a keen angler. I've never actually tried fishing. I don't think I've got the patience for it. I think that's the issue. I, I'm too scatterbrained and too impulsive. And I would find it very difficult to just sit there and wait. And I've got friends who go out and fish and I 
they've invited me to go with them and I probably should try it at some point but I would find it possibly a bit tedious because um, most of the hobbies that I have involve me actively doing something all the time there's no sitting around and waiting even with the cooking because I'll be putting stuff away or cleaning as I wait so maybe there's something else that one does whilst one waits for the line to be bitten I'm not sure again horribly not my field of expertise maybe maybe it is really exciting I don't know anyway it's weird because I just enjoy it in games for some reason Righty, so 164. I really need to start making more hay. And generally, I need to start having more grass. Right, come here, horsey McHorse face. We're going on a ride. Into town. And to do things. Right. We're going up to the mountain, methinks. Because I do very much need to catch those carp. And what's that quest? Oh, slime hunters. Kill red slimes. Six of them. Okay. I think I know where they are. Um, I'm going to buy a couple of quick growing... Or something I can get done before the end of the season. That will just be nice. And I've not really done much in the way of flowers. So, screw it. Let's do some flowers. They'll be nice. Something pretty. Okay. Um, yeah, still need to wait for that. Slimes and fish. So... Uh, up we go then. Let's go find our way to the mountain itself. Go to the lake up there and uh, do some intense fishing. Because that's going to be the next main aim of the game. Because I want to catch those carp. And thankfully they're very distinctive their behaviour on um, the catching mini game bit. Because they do tend to stay at the bottom. So they're kind of predictable in that regard. Right, let's catch some fish. Let's see what we get. To be fair, we're probably likely to get some weird and wonderful stuff. So this one's probably a carp. As a wild stab in the dark there. Oh look, yes it was. Got one. Right, four more to go. And any other fish can be used for sashimi or sold. It's a mixture of who knows. They're all vaguely useful. Okay, another carp. That's good. So two, three to go. Another hit. Excellent. This is why I'm glad that I've just stocked it up with bait. Uh, let's grab that chest. See what we get. Maybe something useful. A largemouth bass. And some more coal. Thank goodness. I do enjoy getting coal out of the a treasure chest that sank to the bottom of the lake. <laughs> Suitably odd, but hey. That's just how this game works. I don't claim to understand it. I don't think I ever could. Okay, so we've got ourselves a chub. Nice and simple. Nothing super exciting, though. The chub is kind of a boring fish. Nothing too much to it, really. But let's see what else we can catch. I know there's also like the bullhead and the smallmouth bass in here. But they do appear during different times of day and different seasons, different weathers. So that's the other thing, is just trying to remember if anything I need to worry about the time of day. Because it's 5 o'clock now, and I think the time usually is between something and 6. Or 6 to midnight. So it's... We'll see. I think the carp is an all-day fish. And I think this is another one. I could be wrong, though. Um, it's very much lurking at the bottom, but I just had to go and grab that chest. It was there. And it's not. It's a chub. Okay. That's somewhat annoying. I was hoping that was a carp. Well, we'll see. Only a few more to catch. It'll be fine. Again, I'm lucky because I've got the iridium rod. I've got the bait on. I've got myself uh, a decent hook. There we go. So that's another carp. Lovely. So it's not too difficult to get a cat. A a nibble or a bite on the go, but we'll see. And this one's probably not a carp. I'm going to wake a world something that says that's a chub. It's not, it's a bullhead. Okay. 
another smaller fish, but yeah. One of the other things I do want to try to catch is an octopus at some point um, to have in a fishing pond. Not sure what they actually produce, but why the hell not? And considering the the times in the past have gone by with eating lots of squid and octopus anyway, it's just, well, be rude not to. Okay, another bullhead. So, got a reasonable amount. I'm quite surprised at the quality of the fish. Um, I know I'm getting the perfect casts, but I wasn't anticipating them being iridium quality for catching carp. <laughs> well... That's just how it goes. Okay, so what's this one? Probably not a carp. I think that's a chub or a bullhead. It's a chub. Excellent. So that's another fish. Eh, they're not that valuable in the grand scheme of things, but it's still a little bit of extra money at this point, and that's kind of what I'm after. Just extra cash, because I do need to make a fair old crack more money because of the building upgrades and general building nonsense I need to do as well as upgrading the house and I think that's going to be the main aim for the next week is to work towards actually upgrading the house so it's going to be, need to be getting 150 of the hardwood which I don't think is going to be too difficult and I've got the 50k that I need for it so that's not too bad it's just making sure that I do get the hardwood and, you know, keep it and get it going. I have planted a lot of the mahogany trees, which will give a decent amount of hardwood when harvested. So that's not going to be too much of a problem, which is fair. Okay, let's see. What's this one going to do? It is another perfect catch, and it's a bullhead. Come on. Okay, the tackle's worn out, so I need to make a new one of those. I might have a spare somewhere in one of the many chests in the ha in the farm area. Okay, what have we got here? Nope, that's not another carp. That's clearly a chub or a bullhead. Probably a bullhead. No, a chub. I was wrong. Okay, come on. I'm getting sick and tired of this now. Uh, let's see. That's probably not a carp, is it? No, it's going too high, I think. Yeah, another chub. Come on. Just need one more. And then I go back to the pub and wave some fish around. And like, Look, I caught a fish. He's dead. Whee! <laughs> because it's clearly been out of the water for a few hours at this point. And this one is... Another bullhead. Come on. I'd hope that I catch another carp. Now. No. Nope. Let's try actually casting properly that time. Rather than screwing it up. Come on. Get on the line. Please. That's what I need. Just need one. Please. Oh, I think this might be the carp. The carp we need. There it is. Seize the fish. Fantastic. Right, so back to Willy. And off we go. Not too bad. I wouldn't say that today's been a particularly profitable day in the grand scheme of things, but I've also got myself all the blue jazz, which I can plant as well. And that'll just be something nice to have on the farm, just because it'll look pretty. And I think... I'm trying to remember when the hives produce. I think they produce something every seven days. If that's the case, when they when they produce the next batch of honey, I will then move them um, to where I've uh, to the left hand side of the greenhouse, to where I would like to have a few more of them, and then I'll start looking at making a um, a, a plot of land that will grow flowers there. I just need to figure out what the radius around a, a hive actually is. Um, for actually obtaining uh, honey, which would be sensible, I think, um, to actually know how far I can put the hives away. But we'll see. That's that's going to be something that I need to think about 
and actually carefully work out. Okay, so it's got still 61, that's good. Let's just hoe that little bit of land there and we will put some more seeds in, that's good. Boop. A little bit of water. And where next? Yes, we've still got these little bits here, that will be fine. Just slap some more there, lovely stuff. Excellent, so that's a bit more, a little bit more clay, whoop de doo uh, Okay, so I've got 44 left, so I'm going to just slap it all in here, see how much of that actually comes up to 44, and then just hoe up some extra land if required. So yes, there is going to be extra land required. Fantastic. Smack. And that, I know that I can't hoe up that bit above it, which is annoying. I'd like it if I could. Unfortunately, it's too close to the cliff face and therefore cannot be farmland, which is a shame. But that's my own fault for placing this one potentially badly, but I think that's the best, as honestly, as good as I'm going to get with this one, with general placements. Okay. Um, is there anything else I can put away? Yeah, let's just quickly redistribute some things. Put the jazz seeds away. Oh, goodness, put the coal away. And the gemstones. And then just, you know, I'll just go to bed. That'll probably be easier. Because then I can just get this sort of stuff done. Um, let's just make it some sashimi from the low value fish. There we go. And we can sell all that as well. Because sashimi sells for more than fish. I know there's a, like, a a ratio of like with ha what is it it's whether it's based on the quality of that fish whether you should sell it as a fish or if you should sell it as sashimi or not but we'll see right so let's just shit no I actually kind of want that one there we go yeah eggplant um, bean hot pot that's the one that's real good I need to start making that but I don't think I actually know how which kind of sucks. And I can't remember if it's a recipe you have to learn off of someone or you can find it um, by watching the TV. But we'll see. That's going to be the next thing. Okay, and now on to Sunday. Day 21 of spring. So this is going to be potentially interesting. Now, I've got to see if it's going to chuck it down with the rain tomorrow. And I think I've completed the little quests that are being given by the billboard. And I need to check and see if any of the potato juice is ready. I mean, I hope it is. That'd be nice. Would make my life a little bit easier. Um, so I've actually got enough to do a cup of coffee, which is good. In you go. And we'll just pop some of the produce from the house in here. Because I think that's sensible. However... I do also think I want to head over to... Ooh, Queen of Sauce. Complete breakfast. Oh, I think I already know how to make that. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't know how to make that. That's cool. That could be useful. It's going to be a sunny day tomorrow. Damn it. Yeah, I'm going to have to make um, a thingy. It's just how it's going to have to go, isn't it? I'm going to have to make those rain totems. Pancakes. Complete breakfast. And milk. I, I can't say for certain that I would consider just hash browns and pancakes and some milk being a, a complete breakfast personally I am a bit more of a fond fan of a good f English fry up oh you want sashimi I'll try to throw in ah that's not too difficult to make though um, but the good old traditional English breakfast I say traditional I didn't even know when it became a traditional thing as it in its full constituent form with all the black pudding and beans and everything oh. can't lie though I'm a sucker for a good bit of black pudding as awful as some people think I am for liking it so tasty okay so I need the trees there to actually grow before I can really place the hives there so I think that's going to be a potential issue. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, but that's going to be a potential problem. 
um, on moving the hives. Not too bad, though. We'll get our way through it. Oh, my goodness. All the strawberries. Yay. I love me some straws. Lovely, lovely straws. I'm genuinely looking forward to when the strawberry plants um, can be uh, harvested from this year as it's a, a constant love of mine. I've, I have a small number of hanging baskets out in my garden um, which actually are full of wild strawberries. Now, they're really small. If you've never seen one, they are a about the size of, goodness, what's a, a good descriptor? I wanted to say a small pebble, but that's not a very good descriptor really, is it? Um, now, of course, traditionally I think of raspberries being quite small, but then again, I'm used to seeing them homegrown, not farm grown, where they're quite large, um, you know, to promote the growth of the largest ones. So, um, what's a good size that actually makes sense to people? Uh, it's about, they're smaller than a penny. Um, and that's of either a euro cent coin, a US cent, or a English penny. They're smaller than that. And so they're, they're maybe the tip of your finger sort of size. They're very small, but they're very sweet. They taste a little bit more like a raspberry. They are an interesting one. I will certainly say that. But they are absolutely delicious and I have lots of fond memories of them it's, it's again it's one of those I grow things because they remind me of people or events or things and it's one of the things again that my grandmother had in her house in in her garden and she had them in hanging baskets by her back doors so it meant that when we went out into the garden of a morning during the right time of year we were able to get some tiny very sweet strawberries which was great because I like them um, I, I'd had them with my breakfast I'd actually put them in my cereal sort of like a, the um, American style cereals that have marshmallows and all sorts of horrible sickly sweet things in them but with fresh fruit and uh, that, that was a, a big love of mine so it's one of the things that I'm doing again this year because I think that's uh, reasonably sensible and I would very much like to end up with some lovely tasty um, tiny strawberries <laughs> I'm, I'm a sucker for doing things because they remind me of, of fun and happy times and I think that's not a terrible idea and I guess that's why some people just do things generally. I mean, heck, it's why I know one of my friends plays the old Legend of Zelda games. Because it reminds him of um, his childhood. Because they were the games of his childhood, really. Not, not, not much more to that. But hey, that's just how that rolls. Now, the Triple Shot Espresso will help me move around a bit quicker, which is good. As I'll be able to dart around and move at a higher speed. My goodness, I wish there were other ways of increasing your speed because I would very happily enjoy those and just zoom around like a madman at any opportunity. If I can get around and about quicker, oh, be glorious. Right, beep beep, move out of the way, goatee things and, do and, um, and cow things. We have stuff to do. Right, Pierre, you need uh, another coffee. Lovely, and a diamond, just, just because. Um, so you want some sashimi, that's easy. Uh, let's just turn all those into sashimi. And I also want to make some coffee. Because I've got the, well, I should have the capability of doing that. So I'll put the cheese in, because I know that's going to be a useful resource in the grand scheme of things. Um, I don't think there's much you can actually make with strawberries compared to like the cranberries where you can make the cranberry sauce which is a, a lovely thing but again it's one of those don't really get used to um, sauces on foods like as a kid I never had like apple on pork I never had um, horseradish with beef and very often and it was only as I became an adult that I actually started doing that and it changed my life 
<laughs> as, as melodramatic as that sounds, it was it was a big change for me as an adult. I was like, oh, so that's how it, ooh, is that how it's supposed to taste, sort of thing. My goodness, so good. Right, so I'm gonna sell that diamond as well. So we've got the sashimi that we need to trundle over. I've got six of the potato juice. I don't think it'll be too long before I actually have access to the rest of it. Okay, so I've got 71 hardwood. 71. Hmm. That's not too bad. I need more, obviously. But I also do need a lot more normal wood. Because I do want to be able to make more of the hives, which are quite an important thing. But I also want to really work on the upgrades to the house and the barns and stuff. So I'm just going to grab a few miscellaneous gems and bars and things that people like and so that I can give them gifts so that they can have a slightly higher opinion of me. I'm going to grab that prismatic shard and I think I'm also going to head over to the desert and actually get the weapon upgrades essentially because why do I not want to have the galaxy sword? Exactly, it, it's a it's a fantastically good weapon, and I need it. I need to delve deeper into the depths of Skull Cavern, and having a better weapon will help me do exactly that. Okay, what can I get you to do for me, upgrade wise? Five fifty wood. How much have I got? Okay, I've got enough. Well, I've got near enough. It's going to cost me quite a bit to up do the upgrade there. I've got about 106 pieces of wood. But considering the money I've got lying around, I can deal with it. For now at least. Right, let's upgrade that shed into a bigger one. That's great. So that's going to be my keg shed of all of the production of that. That'd be great. And then I'll need a another upgrade done on the other shed. To turn it into the preserves jar shed. I'm still debating whether... No, yeah, no, it'll probably be more sensible if I don't worry about keeping preserved stuff. You want a potato? Why the hell do you want a potato? You're so odd. Um, oh yeah, spooky ghosts. Because I, I've, I've killed ghosts. I know that they exist in this game. So maybe that's what happens. I couldn't say for certain though. Okay. Have yourself a gemstone. And your sister is not in her room. Okay. Because I know my relationship with Haley is not as... Oh, thank you, Vincent. You're just in my way. Bloody child. Is your mother home? I wish to give her a diamond. Nope. She is not home. Okay. Who next? Well, let's see if we can find the mayor, because he's a reasonably easy one. And uh, the pepper will do nicely for him. But for now, Clint is going to be an easy one, because I can just quickly go behind the counter and go, Here's a gold bar! Whee! <laughs> Go bar. Lovely stuff. Now. Yeah, I'm going to head to the desert. And I'm definitely going to go and do the thing with the prismatic shot. I also kind of want to try it out. I want to see how effective it is. Uh, okay, so the mayor's not in there. So where is he? There's Maru. There's the mayor. No, don't eat it. There you go. Have a hot pepper. I am very much on his line, though. I very much enjoy hot peppers as well, so totally get his. Um, that they're his favourite, because yes, hot peppers for the win. Okay, let's head to the desert for 500g. We and onto the bus we go. I probably should cut down those trees when I get back, and any trees that are just here in the desert, because more wood is going to be very handy and something I definitely need. Um, but first, let's sort out this. 
Okay, so stand between these pillars with the prismatic shard. A big sparkly cutscene. And the galaxy sword is mine. Yeah. Okay, so 60 to 80 damage. So it's quite a beast of a weapon. Unfortunately, unlike some of the other weapons I've had previously, like the, the, vamp the Dark Blade, which is a vampire ability, which would be very helpful, as I would quite enjoy being able to leech life off of things. But we'll see. I ha have a diamond. I don't think that's actually like one of her favourites. can't remember what is. Um, what else can we buy here? Well, there's not much really, is there? Well, let's get a few more star fruit because I know I'm going to churn through them because that's just how life works in the greenhouse, at least. Now. Right, screw it. Let's just go back. And as I get on the bus, I suddenly remembered saying, as I arrived, oh yeah, I'll cut down the trees. Genius. Such a moron. Oh well. They'll be there later. I can cut things down. Like this one. Just exact my revenge on a, a poor tree for just existing. How dare you. Okay. Now. I'm trying to figure out what other things that I need to do. Oh, there you are, Haley. Unfortunately, I haven't got your dandelion. Dandelions? Daffodils? No. Uh, sunflowers. For her. There we go. Here you go, Pierre. Have a seat yourself. You're getting the shakes. Maybe you've eaten a lot of bad sashimi and you've actually got mercury poisoning. <laughs> Probably not a great thing, but you know. Yeah, my relationship with Haley's not great. Um, I need to really work on that. No, don't need the stone. You got the behind the counter blues. Well, the trick is, Pierre. Go out and do things. I understand that you run the local shop, but you are allowed to have some time off. And I know you close on Wednesdays, but I just really wish that tea plant would just give me a tea leaf initially, but I need to increase my relationship with Caroline. Okay, so why the hell am I in Pierre and Caroline's bedroom? Oh. Uh oh. Okay. I think I know what we found. Um, yeah. Yep, yeah. We found, found something that you shouldn't have. Tut, tut, tut. Yeah, why on earth were we snooping around in this bedroom, though? That I just don't get. Well, <laughs> to be fair, Pierre, you could have, you know, told your wife about your stash and what you enjoy doing with it tut 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 but hey to each their own and uh, we'll leave it at that okay so I need to quickly head on back over to, I, you know what I'm going to just go to the caves because I need, need to kill the red slimes I haven't done that yet and I want to try out murdering things with this sword because I think that would be fun just to try it out and see how good it actually is. Might be absolutely, no, no, it won't be terrible. It's one of the best weapons of the game. <laughs> I might be terrible using it, which is definitely a consideration, but we'll see. Okay, and into the mines we go. Now. I think the red slimes are going to be, what, floor 90 or something? That's probably it. We'll have a check. That's going to be the big thing. But yeah, I think floor 90 is where the red slimes are. We'll give it a go. Okay, well, there's a rock. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. That was dumb. <laughs> I am a genius. Well, let's try a little bit higher up. Just going to double check. That's not 70. It's not 71, no. So yeah, maybe floor 80, 90. Because I know there's obviously the 120 floors. No, it's going to have to be 81, isn't it? That's the first, yeah. 81 is the start of the red slimes. Anyway, faffing aside, there's some red slimes. 
I'm gonna stab him. Give him a good stabbing. Yeah. Die, horrible slimes. Excellent stuff. Wow, that's a much faster attack speed. That's great. Now, just to quickly mine my way through all this stuff. There we go. Lovely stuff. Slicey, slicey, slice. And just quickly mine that. Okay. So, I only need to kill five of the damn things. So, I shouldn't be too hard-pressed, I don't think, to try to find them all. Oh, okay. One of those. I can't remember what they're called, but they're dead. And that's dead. Oh, no. Maybe not. Then now it's dead. Still think... I need to make sure. I can't remember if I've already upgraded my combat skill all the way. I don't think... I think it's the last skill that I haven't got to level 10. As soon as it is the last all completed, then I should feel a bit more confident about actually hitting things with swords or hammers or knives. I can't remember whether I... I used to use the galaxy hammer a lot more than the galaxy sword because I like the AoE effect, the area of effect damage that it does with the alternate attack rather than the block. As I'm a bit, maybe, aggressive is probably one way of putting it. I, I tend to go all-out attack, less defense when it comes to gameplay. Um, I'm less uh, inclined to try to save myself. I'm more inclined to try to kill them before they can hurt me. Which isn't always the best plan I have discovered. Okay, ah, here we go. It's infested, so I need, I need to kill two of these, and then we can get out of here. Glorious. Ooh, purple mushroom. Ooh, I need more of these. I need so many more of them. Okay, let's just check in case there are more on this floor, because, my goodness, that would be really helpful. So I'm just going to murder my way through all of these at the moment. <sighs> I need three of them, I know. I think I've got one. Ah, oh, drap, there's only a pickup of one. If only it was a double pickup, that would have been lovely. Then I could have done the entire thing in one go, but no. Still got to do one more. I'll live. Annoying, though, because I would very much like to just get this done. Okay, so now we can get out of here. And I think I need to head back to town. Let's go and see Lewis, if we've got the opportunity. I think he should still be in the bar. Oh, a field ration snack. Um... Hold up. Let's just get rid of the soggy newspaper. I could probably be eating the white algae, but at the same time, it's actually better for me to sell it. it might actually be more useful. Ah, well. Right. Um, Lewis, are you in the pub on a Sunday evening? Uh, no. Apparently he's not. Okay. Would have thought he would have been. Well, I can speak to him at a later date. That doesn't matter too much. And while I'm here, I'm just going to buy a couple of beers. Give one to Pam. One to Shane. And I wonder if I've got any gemstones in my inventory from that little mining exploration. I don't believe I do. Uh, no. That's sashimi. Nothing else. Right. Well, off we trot then. Back to the farm. And back to the daily grind. Okay. Now. So I send you the plan for the next week is going to be mass felling of hardwood trees. Trying to get more of that, of course. I need to make some rain totems because I desperately need it to rain. And to ensure that I've also got the potatoes um, juices all ready as that's going to be a major aspect that I need to uh, essentially to work on, really. So there's two of the three. I need one more of those. So that sword can go in there, that can go in there, that can go in there. Let's just redistribute the gubbins, because that would be sensible. I know it's getting late, don't worry. We'll pop that away. Um, the seeds, they can live there for now. I'll put them in the greenhouse tomorrow morning. And the building materials. So, I think that's pretty much going to come to the point where it wraps up our glorious session here at High Ridge Farm. So, please, if you have enjoyed, do like and subscribe to the videos, as it always is helpful. And, of course, if you have any comments or you'd like me to do something more in the videos, do tell me, as uh, I do listen to your feedback. Um, I might not immediately enact it, but I always try. <laughs> 
But once again, thank you for tuning in, and I will hopefully catch you again on the next Walrus Plays. <laughs>